Greetings everybody, this is Creativist. Today I want to show you some really cool ways to get bumps by yourself without a group fast. I'm talking really fast. It is the fastest way to get bumps in the game. What you're going to need before you even start this quest line, I'm sorry, before you start this route, is you have to start the brimstone quest line. And you're gonna get to that point where you gotta craft a potion on an alchemy station. And when you do that, you will find that potion in your quest items in your inventory. Click it and drink it. And now you can officially travel into Brimstone. If you do it without that potion, you'll cross the line at the border and you'll instantly die. So that's the minimum requirement for what I'm about to show you. Second, is you want to go up to this brand new uh, it came with brimstone this brand new fast travel location it's called crossroad shrines it is in shattered mountains way up in the northwest so go unlock that and here is where we're going to start what we're going to do is a route straight down this road okay and it's really really fast guys this is amazing so what we're doing is we're heading toward the wall all right. For those of you that don't know, the wall is a, it's a quite literally a giant wall that divides shattered mountains and uh, brimstone sands. So we're gonna go right down the road, and we're gonna stay on the road, kind of. We're gonna go right to that opening in the middle. Now you could, alternatively, if you wanted to, you could go up in the temple over there where my cursor's at. There's a temple that will lead you up on top of the wall. And you could certainly find some more chests in there. But in my opinion, it's terribly inefficient to do that. What I'm showing you is something that you can do every hour. And just quick rip it off, rip the band-aid off and get it done kind of thing. Um, so we're going right into this uh, opening in the middle. And this is the closest you can get your tent. Okay, you see I dropped my tent here. That's as close as you can get. So my advice is go ahead and drop your tent. And then I'm going to clear this roamer. You don't have to. You can actually... Um, you can just wait for him to roam past. And we're going to get these two chests. There are two right under the middle of the wall. One on the left, one on the right. So coming up here, I'm going to get my sword out because we're going to have a little combat. I'll let this guy open up the chest, the sarcophagus. When he does, it's going to spawn a ghost. So he's really easy. Just burn him down and then click the chest. So these will give you bumps. So that's number one. And by the way, the whole boss loot table is in these as well. So you can get some best of slots from doing this. A little glitchy where you stand on that <laughs> those two so that's chest number two now for the the next three on the right next three on the left we're gonna enter these two structures right here I'm gonna do the right one first now again there's a roamer now on the right one you don't have to kill anything you can actually do this um, naked with no weapons So I'm going to go up these broken stairs, and then you're going to see a spear guy right there. Now you can fight him if you want to, but if you want to avoid him, hug this wall. Now in a second, you're going to see that roamer come up here. Now watch what happens. He's going to come out a little bit. He's going to turn around, and then he's going to run like hell. It's so funny. Watch. Run, forest. Okay, so he gets out of there. Now we can go ahead and open up, this is chest number three. We're going to kill the ghost. Pretty easy. 
Okay, now you don't have to kill this guy, but I'm gonna go ahead and burn him and his buddy. And then here's chest number four. We're gonna kill the ghost. Keeping an eye out for the roamer. It does take him a really long time to come back. But Let's see if I have some luck and actually get a couple bumps here on fresh start. Kill the ghost. No luck. Okay, so now we're gonna get the next three. These guys have already opened the sarcophagus, so this one should be pretty easy. Now the first one is down here on the on the bottom floor. Well, let's see if it spawns a ghost. It might, but we'll see. They just unlock them. So. Nope. Okay, and then same thing as the other side. You can skip fighting that guy. Just hug the wall, but you do have to kill this archer right here. Or he'll just like wreck your face. Try not to fall off. There's the roamer. I'm going to give him a wide berth. He just turns around. He doesn't run like the other guy. Okay, so here is our next chest. It's going to spawn a ghost more than likely. I'm not sure on the timer. Nope, no ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and burn this guy. I'm not sure on the timer that they uh, they respawn the lid and uh, do the ghost thing, but here's chest number eight. Here comes the ghost. So I'm gonna grab that. And so that is the first eight. That all of those eight took like less than uh, what four minutes. So now we got to give you some bonus footage. So there are a million ways that you can go and you can left, right, up, down. You can go all kinds of different routes to get chests. But here is my tip for you. Continue running down this road and we're going to head toward the temple where you actually got the heart gem rune. Okay? In front of it is an obelisk. I'm going to show you that in a second. Now be careful on this road. There is a orange ghost. He's kind of like a, I don't think he's a named, but he hits like a named. <laughs> so just be a little careful of him. He hits like a truck. So I'm just zipping over to the obelisk in front of me. I'll show you again in a second. See it right there? Kind of looks like the Washington Monument. Now at the base of that thing are three more sarcophagus. And after I loot those, I'm going to show you even one more bonus. So you lucked out today. Now by the way, if you have done a lot of the side missions, eventually you will unlock this NPC in front of me. And his little quest is to come up and do what I'm about to do and just open up these sarcophagus. So here comes chest number nine. Kill the ghost. Give me a bump, baby. Give me a bump. Boo. Chest number 10.
There we go. Finally got a bump. A green helmet. Here comes chest number 11. And then the extra bonus is going to be inside that temple. No bump. Okay. So for this one... You guys are going to like this. If some of you might not know, there are multiple chests in here and a glyph. So I'm going to show you all four of those. Wait, four? Five. Yeah, four. So we're going to go up the left steps. Right here. So right there is like the Stargate teleporter thing. We're going to go up the left steps. You'll see the little lizards all over the place. Don't worry about them. They won't aggro you. And all their little nests are all over up here. And then you come out here to the edge. And if you look down, you'll see a whole bunch of little round platforms. And that's what we're looking for here. Now, right here, there's one in the right, middle, and the left. We want the middle one. So I'm going to jump down. I'm actually going to put my weapon away. And then you come out here to the edge of the circle, okay? And we're going to do this path right here. We're going to go toward the wall, hoping that we can get a little bit of help from the wall. Okay, I missed it, but I think you get the point. So, now, what we're doing is we're going down to the next middle one. In the same process, come out here to the edge. Now, this one, you really want the wall to help you. So, come out as far as you can, and then just go... There you go. So you can, there are a lot of eggs down here that give turkey eggs and whatnot. But if you don't have it already, you can grab this glyph. And if you look on the left side of your screen on the bottom, you will see a shiny glowing painting. Okay? Now you can loot that. It's a house item. And there is a, I think it's an alchemy or provision chest right there. Or if you look on the right side you will see a loot chest and that's what we're gonna go for um, now you can get them both I'll show you how but you can't get them both right now you have to pick one or the other at this point so I'm gonna go towards the loot chest hopefully I make it all right so I'm gonna grab this so this is chest number 12 now as you see if I was to jump on this ledge there is no way to get up to that okay you think you'd be able to hop up here, but you cannot. So, alternatively, what you want to do is you want to... I'm going to grab this little splat chest. If you come over here, you're going to see a set of stairs. And right there you go. You go up those stairs right there, and then come around, and you can go back into the temple. And you're going to jump down the same way. Except this time you're going to go for that painting and that other chest. So that's it, guys. Um, from here, if you want to, there's a fast travel over there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because the haze right now. It, like weather conditions in the game and whatnot. But right there is the aqueduct. Okay. And I will occasionally go directly underneath the aqueduct is a platform with a named wolf. Now you can go in there and you can get the ice gauntlet that he drops. It's a named ice gauntlet and some other stuff. And that's typically where I end my route. But you could go left. A lot more chest over here. But for efficiency and time, I really wanted to show you that route right there. And then I'm going to wrap up the video here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Creativist. And I'm out.